Hey there, how are you? My name is George Daniel and I want to welcome you to this Power Platform Essentials video series. This is the first video on this series that will take you through the works on Power Platform. In this video, we will be looking at how to create a Dataverse environment. Dataverse is a cloud-based data management solution within the Power Platform and it allows you to store and manage data used by business applications in a secure and scalable way. To work with Dataverse, you need an environment with a Dataverse database. So let's take a look at how to create this new environment and at what you should be paying attention to when doing so. To create a new environment, navigate to your Power Platform Admin Center, select Environments from the left menu, click New and start by giving it a good name. Let's call this one Essentials. Next, you can assign a group to this environment and this can be helpful if you manage a lot of environments since it allows you to organize them by department, cost center, purpose or any other criteria really. And groups also allow you to apply uh, some rules to all environments in a, in a group which is also nice. Next there's region. Now, this one is usually best left alone since it will direct you to the most suitable region for you based on your location, so just leave it as it is. And moving on, we have Get New Features Early, which is really nice for developer and trial environments because you get to try new things and that's always fun, right? Now, be cautious with that. Um, on production environments because you might break something okay and next up we need to decide on which type of environment we are creating there are a few options uh, let's start with the trial ones uh, there's the standard trial and this environment has an expired date of 30 days so uh, they're nice for running some kind of experiment and then they're gone um, the trial subscription based ones, these are linked to a subscription and they will remain active as long as that subscription is also active. One thing to note though about these two is that neither of them consume paid capacity, so take a note of that. Moving on, we have developer and as the name goes, these are meant for developers. These are safe spaces for trying new things, trying code, running experiments. And uh, then we have the sandboxes. Sandboxes behave much like production environments and they are usually used for development, testing, before rolling out to production. And finally, production is where your apps and flows will be. Next up, add a Dataverse data store. Well, please do, because that's the whole point of this uh, video. And uh, pay as you go with Azure, that's it. Link it with an Azure subscription and pay as you go. Click next and you can decide on the language of the environment. I always create environments in English, but you can choose from any of the available uh, languages. And then choose your currency uh, from the list. Next up, we have security groups. Now, consider this a best practice. Assign a security group to your environment and then add users to that security group so they gain access to your environment. Let's say you're rolling out Dynamics 365, create a group called CRM and then assign users to it. Moving on, uh, you can customize your 
URL and then you can enable Dynamics 365 apps. Let me just put a security group here, maybe demo, okay? Um, so if the purpose of this environment is to run Dynamics 365 and you have licenses, licenses in place, so this is where you can um, choose the apps you want to deploy. And then just click save and your environment will be created. Now that your environment is in place, it's time to check out some options related to it. And that's what the next video will be about. So do come back and see you soon.